So, I, I, when I first pulled up, there was a little alligator on the surface, and he shot off. But, uh, I, I'm actually not going to fish this spot because there was a bunch of weird signs back there and I didn't quite understand them. There was like, you need a permit to fish this spot or something. I see alligators though, cruising the surface. Well, I see at least one. Let's get the drone out and let's see if we can see them. looks like he's getting ready he wants to attack the drone that's what it looks like to me like seriously let's see if if, if I go way down if he swims over let's see if he swims over to the guys he's swimming right toward the drone this dude wants to eat the drone This is one aggressive alligator. This dude literally, you know, let me do something. Let me make sure there aren't a bunch of other ones around real fast. I would hate to be looking at one and one is sneaking up behind me and he's going to snatch my drone out of the air. All right, here we go. Let's pretend let's get real low. That's as low as it goes. He's stalking the drone. Is, is this guy gonna like, he's coming over. Ah! This dude wants the drone. Look at it, he's right under. He's right under. This dude wants to eat the drone. This is crazy. Would he snap at it if I came like right on him? I want to see him launch out of the air at the drone and just narrowly miss it. That would be ideal. Yeah, see, look how he's sticking his head out of the water. This dude is like, he, he is not scared at all. I'm a little bit nervous. It would stink to get my $1,000 drone snatched out of the air by an alligator. And the thing that would be so terrible about it is that I wouldn't have a record of it. Like it wouldn't be, because he would eat the SD card. So there's no way that I could be like, oh guys, an alligator. No, 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 no. I almost landed on the water. Whew, you know, I better get home before something bad happens. I almost landed on the water there. But anyway, um, it would really stink to have that happen because it would be so cool to have an alligator snatch your drone out of the air, but you wouldn't have any record of it. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the final adventure of the Louisiana series. Check out this beautiful, well, not really. Well, yeah, it is. It's a beautiful river. It's muddy, though. Very, very muddy right now. I don't know if it's always like that or whatever. I actually don't even know the name of this river. I just found this spot randomly driving around. I saw this, like, sportsman's access sign, and it pointed down this road. So I followed the road down, and this is where it led me. And I thought, man, this is a juicy-looking fishing spot. So I have several hours this afternoon, and, uh, I see like some laydowns and stuff over there. And the thing that really got me excited actually was if you look out there, the current is ripping. I mean, ripping by. And it eddies though, right up. You see this kind of rock point goes out. The rock point stops it. In fact, you can see, see that foam on the water right there. It eddies right in here. And I thought this looks like a juicy looking catfishing spot. Maybe there might be some other things, but catfish for sure would hang out in an area like this. So I came prepared today. I actually had worms and chicken uh, gizzards already with me. And I was just driving around, just, just like, I, I didn't know, I had no plan of where I was gonna go. Happened on this spot. The spot looks amazing. Let me show you what we got here. We got the big catfishing rod and I have uh, my bait casting rod. I think I'll bass fish a little bit with this and we'll uh, throw out probably a night crawler. Just to start it off, throw out a night crawler on this. And I got all my cooking stuff and everything. So. Should be a fun little time out here. Let's get fishing. We have some Canadian live worms we're starting off with. You Canadians make some good night crawlers. Stick a stick in the ground. 
Then we have a nice, juicy, succulent Nightcrawler on a simple bottom rig. I love, love, love trying brand new places. There's something fun about taking that first cast and you just never know. You never know what could happen. Feels like we got some nice current down there. It's pulling the, pulling the sinker along pretty fast. It's a smooth bottom because the sinker's not catching. So I was gonna start off a little bass fishing on my uh, bait caster, but I thought, you know what? I'm already rigged up for catfish. I might as well just go for some catfish. I'll focus on the cats for the first maybe hour. If I don't get anything, then I will uh, switch it up and we'll try some bass. Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, look, we're getting a bite. Oh shoot, did you see that? How did I miss that? Did you guys see the, the rod bend? Okay, so right, we'll get back to that in a second. Hopefully that fish finds it. Oh man, guys, my chicken gizzards have been uh, left out one too many times. This is rotten. You could just tell, instead of being like a vibrant red color, it's like this weird pale color. Whew. It's gonna be a while till I get that smell off my hands. Got one, got one. On a worm. I was holding it in my hand. Suddenly, ooh, this feels like a good fish, guys. All right, first fish of the day. Um, this feels very weird the way it's fighting. It doesn't get tangled up in the other one. Come on over this way. What? What do we? Oh, it's a drum. It's a dr drum. Yes, that's a. I'm pretty sure that's a drum. I've never caught a drum before either, guys. Holy mackerel! This is the trip of first, first time squirrel hunting, first time gar fishing. And now, a big drum. Can you eat drum? Whoa! I mean, like, we could get some steaks off this dude. Yes! Look at that, guys. That is what I'm talking about. I mean, what a size of a fish, dude. That's probably like a two pounder. All right, so the question is, can you eat drum? And I believe you can. I'll look it up just to make sure, but I think you can keep drum. Just looked it up, guys, and yes, you can eat drum, no problem. All right, catch and cook a brand new fish. Got one, guys, got one. <laughs> of course, I literally just turned off the cameras, and one just smokes it, but on the worm again. Feels like a decent one. This might, might be a catfish. I think it's doing the death roll. Yes, it's a catfish, hallelujah. A decent, well, I mean, yeah, it's decent. It's a keeper, that's for sure. Yes, my first decent catfish, guys. You don't know how many hours, yes. I have fished for hours for a decent catfish. And I'm not kidding, the biggest one I've caught was like 11 inches. Look at that flat. We do not have very many flatheads in Idaho. So to catch one that size, that is pretty cool. That is definitely a keeper. Guys, we have drum and catfish for a little afternoon some some fish sandwiches this is the life right here this is what I enjoy doing the most it's funny because um, I don't go to bars or hang out at like lounges or party places or I just I don't feel comfortable in those environments and it's not like if I'm gonna be doing something on a Friday night, I'd rather be doing this. Even sometimes I've found, if I go to like parties with friends, sometimes I'll be sitting there like, oh man, it's a beautiful evening. I wonder if the fish are biting. Whoa, whoa, guys, mayday, mayday. We got something big on. Gosh, it's fast action. These fish have turned on. It's going out to deeper water. Okay, not a giant, but still, oh man, that's a good catfish though. Oh, almost fell in. Oh, that mud slides. Oh, yes! Another one. Oh, yes! Finally, after so much catfishing, two trips, all these little dinks and dunks, now we're getting into them. There is a hot bite. That was just like 
three three minutes uh, later, I catch this one. Look at that flathead, guys. We don't have very many flatheads in Idaho. I think before this trip, I've only uh, I only caught three cat three three flatheads total. So this makes number five ever in my life. Wow, so so cool. It's funny because it doesn't get any more old fashioned than this. Just a night crawler on the bottom. All right, boys, it is time to clean the fish. I'm actually gonna fillet this drum and uh, might check in the guts, see if there's anything interesting in there. Looks like good white meat. Interestingly enough, like that fillet looks really big, but it's actually kind of thin. And by the time I get the meat off, it's just not very thick. <laughs> like we have this one here, and the meat, we're just not getting, for that size of a fish, a ton of meat off. But you see how much the head, the head is so big, and like the thin, the, the, or the skin is so thick, tons of, tons of fins on it. And so, even though we have a really nice sized drum, we're not getting a ton of meat off this bad boy. So that's kind of interesting. So funny story about the small catfish. Um, I was actually throwing all the, the small catfish back that I was catching this trip. And uh, th when I got back, the, uh, the folks I'm staying with, uh, Homer and Thomas both told me they said man if you catch small catfish you got to eat those those are the best tasting They said like 12 inches is the best kind and normally I you know a 12 inch I'll throw away at home, but they're like no the meat is tender It's just it's perfect at 12 inches and then I we go to like the seafood store and they have a ton of like tw Catfish exactly 12 inches in the store anyway This will be interesting to try this small one and see how it tastes because they insisted that a smaller catfish was very delicious. Huh. All right, folks. Welcome to Ace's Outdoor Kitchen. We serve nothing but fresh fish. So the ingredients for today is, since we are deep frying the fish, well, of course we have some vegetable oil, and then I got this special New Orleans seasoning fish fry. I figured I would try something I haven't ever seen before since I'm down here in Louisiana. And then for these fish sandwiches, we're going to put secret sauce instead of mayonnaise. Never tried that before. And uh, just secret sauce and pickles on the buns and then fried fish. I figured that would be amazing. Also might throw a little bit of Everglades in this seasoning. The first thing we shall do is take a Ziploc bag, take some mustard, and fill it up with mustard. Then drop our fish in the mustard. Whoa! Or drop it on the ground almost. That was almost a disaster. Drop it all in this dirt. There we go. We're gonna let it marinate in the mustard. And whilst it is marinating in the mustard, we'll fill a pan with a little oil. And whilst the oil is heating up and the fish is marinating, we're gonna put our seasoned fish fry. I'm gonna add just a little bit of, whoa, or a lot of salt to that, as well as uh, just a little bit of uh, what is this called? Everglades seasoning to it, just to make sure it pops enough for me. I like bold flavors. And now we take the filet of fish and we add it to there. And with that mustard that it's been marinating in, it will definitely g grab a lot of that breading mix there. I'm starting with the drum, since I've never eaten a drum before. And in the drum goes. Woo! And a second piece. Move over there, boy. Woo! Fried fish on a stormy day. It's starting to get just a little bit stormy out here. Hopefully it holds off just for like 45 minutes more so we can finish this. This is fun though. This is so fun. I found this little spot catching fish, eating fish. So I finally remembered to bring paper towels while I'm out here. Ooh, the fish is crumbly. Look at that, fried fish. Boom! So before we turn this drum into a sandwich, I'm actually gonna try the drum just all by itself to see if it, how it tastes, the essence of the drum. So we now have all that riffraff and stuff around it. Let's pray real quick. All right, first time ever trying drum. <laughs> Let's try that again. I like it. I was wondering 
how good it's actually gonna taste. It's nothing like super special, but it's delicious. It tastes like a good, solid fried fish. I like it. We have our pickles and secret sauce on there. It basically tastes like McDonald's secret sauce. Everybody has their secret sauce nowadays. It's so common to have secret sauces that it's not even special. You know, I don't go into a restaurant that has a secret sauce and go, ooh, I gotta try that because like, it's just everybody is saying. It's like when everybody uses world famous, you're like, whatever, everybody says they're world famous. However, on my channel, I make world famous fish sandwiches. Check that out, folks. And that is the appropriate amount of meat to bread right there. Got the pickle in there. That's off the hook. Or on the hook. I put some catfish in the oil. Nice little catfish nuggets there. Let's see how a small catfish tastes. A crispy catfish nugget. Ooh, hot. Hot. Amazing. Amazing. I love catfish. Marinated in mustard. Well guys, what an amazing last day here in Louisiana. So much fun. This is just this little afternoon fishing trip. I said it once before, I'll say it again. You have to get out there and try this yourselves, guys. Don't just fish. Fish and then bring all the stuff and cook it up right on the right on the river or right on the lake. It is so much more fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out a playlist of all my Louisiana adventures, I'll put it right there. If you want to check out another catch cook video, I'll put it right there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.